Blueface and Krishan Rock. This man got a tooth with his face on it. Oh, he bought that some dentures. Nah, son. Nah, I'm not making this video for uh, entertainment purposes. I'm more so doing it as a concerned uncle. Okay? And... In every friend group, there's at least one couple that we all know don't belong together. They always arguing. They always breaking up. Their fights are are more Mortal Kombat s. Are you all right, dude? Bro, that's not good, bro. Damn, dude. They be beating each other ass. Now that that's the extreme. You feel me? But we all know a couple that we feel don't belong together. But they still want to be together because they don't want to see each other happy with nobody else. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. In this case, they're that couple that we know don't belong together. I made a video on this, right? This is around the time Wack 100 was trying to kick her out the crib. And I said, yo, they don't need to be together, son. She either going to get this man in trouble or something crazy is going to happen. Yo, back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Now, I don't wish that on nobody, knock on wood. But you can just see it. Now, the fact that people gave him a show and did all that, get your money, but they don't give a fuck about y'all. They only care about the entertainment factor. They don't see that, like, mentally, these two niggas is fucked up, okay? Mentally, they out of this, huh? I'm not gonna lie. I was looking for a video to, to react to. I was just doing my research, and I came across this video of Krishan Rock basically saying that she's thinking about having an abortion. Destroy this. It's like, damn, what the fuck? Just because I don't want to get with your cheating ass shit. It's war now. It's like war. He's trying to shit on me and on the bitch that y'all already shit on. <laughs> That's why I'm like, damn, I might just, just kill this baby. I'm so now I'm going to keep it 100. I didn't know she was pregnant. Blue face didn't drop one in her ass. Cause like, That's crazy. But then... Right after that, I seen another video of Blueface explaining why, like, he don't want her. He was basically saying, yeah, I can't wife no manly woman. I don't even think the baby mine's type shit. Like, I couldn't believe that, son. Now, I'm not blaming Blueface. I'm not blaming Krishan Rock. The crazy thing is, I can't even blame the people around him. Because I've been in situations where I'm around people that I feel don't belong together. But your best bet is to mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could sit here as an outsider and say, damn, somebody should have said something. Somebody close to them should have said something. But I've had people in my friend group where I just mind my business. The reason why you mind your fucking business is because they break up, you get to give them advice. Yo, you know, man, I think y'all not being together might be for the best because... Some t just because you love somebody doesn't mean y'all got to be together. Sometimes the best formula is to love that person from a distance. I'm not saying go find somebody else right now, but maybe this is the perfect time for you to find yourself. Five minutes later, the niggas get back together, and now you the enemy of the relationship. Yeah, you know, that nigga going to tell me that um maybe we shouldn't be together. You know, because motherfuckers going to pillow talk. They get the gossiping and shit. And now you the enemy. Now you look stupid. So sometimes it's the best thing, just mind your fucking business. In this situation though, man, I am concerned. Niggas is always talk comparing them to Bobby, Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. Nah, cuz. This ain't no Bobby and Whitney situation. This shit different. Cause they really be beating each other ass. These two young folks be beating each other ass. It got to a point where he beat her daddy ass. Nah, I'm going to keep it 100. Her daddy deserve it. Her daddy deserve it because you sucker punch the young man now. Don't don't go throwing stones if you, if you got a glass jaw. So, I'm going to be real. As crazy as it is, I commend the young crip for, for you know, defending his honor. Should no grown ass man put his hands on you. But at the same time, the fact that it even got to that. Nigga, me and my wife been together about 16 years. From high school 
through some breakups, got back together and all that, I would not dare put my hands on her father. Like, that had, that don't even cross my mind, bro. Like, and her father would not dare put his hands on me. So it's like, we blaming Krishan and shit, but it seems like the whole family toxic. All right, I'm, I'm going in territories I don't need to go in. But all I'm saying, man, like, something needs to be done. I feel as though the two young people need therapy, especially Krishan. Krishan definitely needs therapy. Like, I don't know what blue face then gave her, but he gave her something she couldn't handle. You know how pirate navigate the oceans? He then gave her ass some pirate strokes. That's the only way I could explain it. Blue face then gave her some pirate strokes. Because she done got his name tatted on her in plenty of different places. I'm just hoping that this situation ends better. I'm hoping that this situation ends better. At no point in time is it okay for people to put their hands on each other. I see in this drone where she threw a bottle and she like she basically cracked a bottle in his head. A glass bottle. This man had to get stitches. That's that's a very interesting relationship. And the fact that niggas is not that concerned, bro, like nigga, we all grew up on flavor of love, bro. You feel me? We all have these shows that we looked at growing up where we seen our favorite, like, our favorite uh, artists and actresses and shit like that from back in the day. How, you know, when they not be in front of the camera no more, shit that went bad type shit. Like, motherfuckers became alcoholics. You know what I mean? Uh, niggas started taking drugs and they just fucked their lives up. Like, we literally watched this young, this, this girl, Krishan, drink herself we're watching her be an alcoholic. Like, we're TV networks are rewarding that. Like, they're rewarding her fucking her life up type shit. She went from being a star athlete to being a drunk who's madly in love with a nigga that don't, that don't want her. Unless, you know, Blueface is playing games type shit. But, I don't know. She crazy, so he might be he might be acting up. Blueface, you might be acting, cuz. Cuz, you know, them crazy girl got that good, that good, you know. Pardon me. This that it's a uh, lemon juice and um apple cider vinegar with a little bit of honey. If you got allergies, you drink this. And knock that shit right out your system. <clears throat> but yeah, man, like that whole situation is crazy. I hope somebody intervene and really get them too right. Somebody need to intervene and get them to right. Because what's going on right now is unacceptable. Unacceptable.